hello guys today we are doing the lead code question number 224 that what are the minimum number of operations required to convert one time from the another time so you have given the two different times one is the current time and another is the correct time and you have required what is the minimum number of operations you required to change the current time to the correct time here in the example you returns is the 230 and you have to convert it into the 435 Right. and you can perform the operations by increasing it by the 16 minutes 60 minutes 15 minutes 5 minutes or the one minute and obviously you want to perform the largest operation first so it will reduce the number of the operations because we have to compute the minimum number of the operations here and the constraint we have given that the time is in the hmm format and the current time is always less than the correct time so let's do the questions first we will do it here and we are given taken another look to the example we are given the 230 and the 435 as the time let's compute okay. so you are given 0 to 30 and here the target time is 0 for 35 you have to convert this time to this time so obviously what you want to do here you want to increase by the 60 minutes and this time will be 0 330 Again, you can increase with the 60 minutes. It will become the 0, 0430. And again, you can increase it with the 5 minutes. And it is equal to 435. And this is equal to the exactly the time we want. Right. So this is the only the problem statement. How we want to tackle it. Let's think about it. So let's move to the solution part of the problem and you are given any time and time is hh colon mm format you can first split this particular time so take an example of 0 to 30 only okay what you will do you will convert it into the minutes format and in minutes format whatever the in the hour you will multiply it with the 60 plus 30 minutes in this case it will be 120 plus 130 is equal to 150 minutes cool similarly whatever your target time is and let's do it with the blue color you are given 0 4 35 and you will multiply 4 0 4 with the 60 plus do the 35 it is 240 and it is 275 then you will take the difference out of this and it is coming out in this case it is 125 as the difference now you have that sometimes this is the one sorry one five fifteen and the 60 minutes maybe you will start with this particular 60. is it divisible how many times so you will say that it is divisible two remainder is five a remainder can you divide it with 15 no you cannot divide so output remains the 0 once you divide with the 5 what is the remainder is divides one time but remainder is 0 again whole number is 0 so you don't need to divide it once so it is 0 so total number of the time it is coming out to be the 3 3 is the, your right answer so now we know how to solve this particular problem so let's move to the here yeah. First, you need some utility functions which will actually convert your strings into some time in the main format. So, public int get, I will write the get minutes. You will give the string, you will give some time. So, first, whatever the time is, you will split it, split based on colon. What will be the output here the output will be a string array so you will store it into a string array string R. now you will get first part of it it is r is equal to integer dot percent of array of zeroth part you will do int minutes part of it integer dot pass and array of one part of it. 
now what will you do you will convert this hours and minutes into total minutes i'm just writing it here so you were to hours you will do the multiply of it with the 60 plus minutes part of now this method gives you total minutes we will compute in current minutes is equal to get min uh, okay the method name could have been better current int correct minutes is equal to get min of correct correct Now, what will you do? Int you will compute the diff out of this, and this is not current, this is correct. Right, so what will you do? Yeah, it is always given that the correct is higher than the current, so you can direct subtract, but I will still suggest do the mat dot absolute correct minutes minus current minutes. Once you got the difference, you have to create an array of divisors. So times is equal to here you have 60. I am writing in the middle reverse order 15 pi for what we will divide it with so these number 4 int p in times what do you have to do you have the end operations is equal to zero written total operation so operations is equal to you have to add into it what you will do you have some number that is your diff and you have to add it by the t now your diff will be decreased and what will your remaining percent is t that's the only thing you have to do let's see what is the output here so expect output 3 and we will submit this question cool yeah thank you